In this tutorial, we're going to look at blogs, uh, just introduce what blogs are uh, and how they influence a user. Um, to be quite honest, most people think about blogs and think about just a place where you go and you read somebody's thoughts every single day or whatever the case might be. But it's way more than that. The whole idea is if you can build a readership and a, f um, um, a loyal following, you can really influence thought leadership. And uh, this is something that really very few other channels can, can do uh, in the way that maybe blogs can. As well as that, we're going to also show the way blogs can actually uh, help to disseminate your information. And it's a nice little channel for, for serving things like Twitter, uh, serving things such as your website, keeping things up to date. And also it's, it's a, one way of just managing your output of information as well. So all of those things are encapsulated in the simple blog. Uh, so what we're going to do is just introduce them first. So the two blogs that, you know, two main kind of blogs that are out there are Tumblr and WordPress. There are way more. Uh, there's bloggers. There's loads of other ones, okay? Um, we're going to focus on Tumblr because of um, its simplicity, number one, but what it allows us to do and how we can disseminate the information from it. Um, so for starters, we're going to look at two areas here. There's blogs and there's microblogging. So in this particular unit, we're looking at blogs. In the next unit, we'll look at, um, at microblogging. And the main microblogging platform is is Twitter. Um, and what is the difference? Well, you know, as the name suggests, it's the size of the blog. So um, with regards to blogs, you know, um, what are they? When did they come about? What was the, you know, what was the reason for them? So the term blog comes from two words, web blog, and put together it was blog. Uh, then you have another one called a video log, which put together is vlog. So with that in mind, um, it was originally, you know, set together as things like travel diaries and so on that people start blogging. And the influence of blogs on the tourism industry is phenomenal because it really does, um, you know, inspire us. And that's, you know, when you're looking for something new or something different, you know, quite often, you know, or even how to do something. Quite often we end up on YouTube or on a blog. Um, and, you know, a lot more of us use blogs than we think. And sometimes we're on a blog and we don't even, we don't even realize it. So, you know, with regards to the popularity of blogs, 84% uh, of people have bought products based on their description in a blog. Now, what that means is that a lot of the time, you know, we go there, even before, you know, websites such as TripAdvisor, etc., we used to go to blogs to try and get somebody's, you know, um, real uh, unvarnished view of, of a product or an item or a service or a trip. So we get somebody's viewpoint and somebody that we can relate to. And that can really help influence us with regards to whether we go somewhere or we don't or we do something or we don't, or we buy something or we don't. So blogs are hugely, hugely popular. Um, you know, with regards to, you know, on, on the, the stat on the right hand side, one in four 18 to 34 year olds would read a celebrity blog, 7% of over 55s would. You know, we kind of have to get away from the whole idea of celebrity dumb and, you know, what we do with this with regards to blogs and with regards to microblogging. Because, you know, both of them are way more than just, you know, fandoms, okay? So it's really, really important that we look at these. 25% of, of 25 to 35 year olds read a blog every day. As I said, some of us don't even realize we're reading a blog. You know, over the last little while, um, you know, this whole idea of food blogs are really after, you know, flying out of the water. And then virtual races and virtual this and virtual that are really after coming to the fore so with regards to like you know even like tasty.com that's a blog you know um like people go to it and they say you know when well, it's not it's on facebook or whatever the case might be but in all fairness it, it's 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 generated from a blog in the first place um so you know to be quite honest my simple definition of a blog normally would be you know when we if i wanted to know how to um change a light bulb I'd either end up on YouTube or in a blog. It's normally a how to to do something or, you know, a step by step approach. And, you know, really, it can be very, very useful. And 
and you know normally it's written in a certain way that it's 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 easily accessible um and it's written by us for us so you know they're hugely popular and hugely simple to use and uh hugely beneficial to our to our product and our brand as well